What's up, guys? How you doing? Cowboy Crunk coming to you from Kabul, Afghanistan. First off, I'd like to say please join the Cowboy family, the Cowboy Crunk family. You know how to do that. We're not allowed to say that sub word anymore. Uh, also, hit the likes on the video. That'll get this to the top. I will be doing one of my drafts, but I kind of postponed those just for a little bit. I uh, didn't get a lot of views on that last video. So uh, hit the sub button. Uh, hit the like button. Check out the last video I did. I'm going to try not to ramble so much. Uh, we got Demarcus Lawrence issues going on this week uh we we've got to do something we've got to decide to franchise tag him uh or and kick the can down the road is, is kind of what they call it or look at a contract i want to run over the contract details with you in comparison to khalil mack i'm comparing him to khalil mack because the numbers are fairly similar actually demarcus lawrence has had more sacks over the last two years and has been fairly uh, just as productive as khalil mack so uh, Khalil Mack took 13% of Chicago's cap. Uh, I ran numbers to, to do 11% and 12% uh, for Demarcus Lawrence since the numbers are similar. Uh, but I did a five-year contract instead of a six-year. Uh, and actually, uh, Khalil Mack is a year older, uh, two years older, I believe, than, than Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, so it is kind of cutting him, cutting him back to do a five-year deal. Uh, that could run into a situation where if he blows up the next five years, we're doing another contract and, and even paying him more in uh, you know 2024 uh, or something like that. So here we go, guys. Uh, 10% of the – excuse me, 11% of the cap would put him at around $22 uh, million, uh, per year. That's uh, excuse me. That's twelve percent of the cap. Twelve percent of the cap would put him at around twenty-two three. That'd be a hundred and eleven million. Uh, I don't think that that's too far to reach for. I think that's where it's going to end up if, if we end up doing that. Uh, he says he's not going to sign the franchise tag. He also has a shoulder uh, surgery he's supposed to do. He says he's not doing that till he gets a contract. So this could turn into you know you want to get the surgery and get get these things. Uh, you know, pushed out of the way so he can rehab and all those things, uh, and, and that, that's a that's a big deal. Uh, that would be about seventy million guaranteed at twenty two uh, million twenty two point three annually. Uh, I don't think that's too far off. Uh, Khalil Mack is around twenty four mil a year. And like I said, that is 13% of their cap. If we go with 11 mil, I don't think he will go with that. Uh, or 11% of the cap is is 104 million. That's about uh, 64 million guaranteed, and you're looking at around 20.4, 20 20 20.5 20 million uh, a year. So as far as free agency, these are our options, guys. I want to throw these out there because you never know. Uh, the thing is, if we don't franchise tag him, uh, we have till July. Uh, until he becomes a, a until he becomes a, a unrestricted free agent, we have till July fifteenth. So no one can sign him or touch him or do anything until then, anyways. So we do have some time to work this out, but but it would be better to get it done quickly. He can get the surgery and start his rehab. As far as free agencies, there are some out there, of course, that do not have the numbers and the statistics uh, that Demarcus Lawrence uh, has, but they would be. You know, they could fill in for Randy Gregory and, and this David Irving thing we're missing. Uh, and, and they're probably upgrades of what we have besides Demarcus Lawrence. Uh, and these are Ezekiel Ansah. Uh, he's from Detroit. He was the fifth pick in 2013. He hasn't had the production numbers. He has had some, uh, he has had some injury issues. But if you look at his numbers... Uh, because of the injuries, he's actually pulling close to a sack a game when he when he is uh, you know physically able to get on the field. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of football experience. He is about 30 years old as well, so that's a player uh, that's in the Demarcus Lawrence uh, age and 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 has some production, but he's had some injuries. If we could, and he played for Detroit, so in our scheme, these guys I'm about to list, they could actually work out better uh, than than what like potentially for their salary because um, you're going to get them at a lower cost. Uh, they're going to probably produce more than they did at other on other teams if we have DeMarcus Lawrence on the other side. We have DeMarcus Lawrence on the other side. These guys won't be being, being keyed on as well. Uh, you know, the same thing like some of the other guys. We've seen their production go up because DeMarcus Lawrence is drawing attention from the offensive line. Uh, another one is Cameron Wake. Uh, he currently plays for Miami. In 14 games, he had six sacks. Uh, he had about 20 hits, uh, 15 hits on the quarterback uh, besides those sacks. And uh, 
He's a guy that we could get at a discount to put over there on the other side. And if we, for some reason, somehow lose Demarcus Lawrence, which they they better not screw this up, these are guys that we could we could go out and get two or three of these guys and see how they worked. Uh, and 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 hopefully, uh, you know, have one of these guys step up. They're guys that had potential. These guys are that I'm listing are guys that were expected to be similar to a Demarcus Lawrence and or a Khalil Mack or or could get to that level. They just haven't done it yet. Uh, another one is Adrian Branch out of Miami. He's a little old, older. Uh, he's 30 years old, but he did have good production. He's somebody that 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 could especially do well if Demarcus Lawrence is there. If Demarcus Lawrence is not there, he's a guy that that you know was expected to do well just hadn't shown that production but but with our coaching staff you know you have to take a risk if if DeMarcus Lawrence is there you know we will probably definitely pick up uh, some of these guys that I'm mentioning another one I'm very interested in is uh Deontay Fowler uh out of uh the he played for the Rams he's only 25 years old his salary's right around five million right now uh he's had some production but he's young and as you guys know Defensive tackles, defensive edge rushers, they come on a little later. We've seen Clowney do it. We've seen Demarcus Lawrence do it. We've seen Khalil Mack do it. These guys don't come in. They're rookie, sophomore, uh, and third season, you know, dominating and tearing it up. It usually takes three to four season seasons. With this being like a manly position, you don't just walk in and dominate as a, as a rookie. Uh, you, you, we rarely see that, that happen. Uh, another one I see I mentioned uh, Andre Branch out of Miami. Uh, he's a little older, uh, but but does have some production uh, and and could be somebody we could sign uh, to work on the other side uh, across from uh, from. Uh, Demarcus Lawrence. So that's my breakdown of this, guys. Uh, please check out the channel. The video I just did last uh, was from yesterday. Uh, that video is is doing a mock simulated draft. Uh, like I said, what that does is it goes through. I'm going to be doing the picks. I want to do some of these live. I'm going to do one later today, uh, just a video and go through, uh, show you the screen. Uh, on the last video I did, I know you couldn't see the screen very well. So I'm going to show you the screen. You'll be able to see the draft a lot better. You guys guys will be able to help me pick the pick the picks one by one defensive line safety however we decide to do it the last one I did I simulated that in the free agency we picked up a safety possibly Earl Thomas or or uh, Reed or uh, Tyron Matthew there's another few safeties out there that, that are available too in the free agency market so uh, I'll do a video on that but I'm gonna get this one loaded get it sent out and then I'll do another video later today with a mock draft uh, and you guys can see how that works and then I will do one later later maybe tomorrow or the next day uh, where you guys can go on live stream with me and we can do a draft together and you guys help me do the picks and we'll see who we end up with but I appreciate it guys Cowboy Crump from Kabul Afghanistan bringing you from your war zone your war daddy bringing you the most up to date uh, decisions that the Cowboys need to make want to make are going to make and, and this one they better make. Take care, guys.